Hello and welcome back to my channel, my name is Cami and on this channel we focus mainly on graphic design and today we're going to be looking at a music industry brand identity and I'll be using Briefbox to basically guide me through this brief and I thought this could be a very useful source for you guys as I know a lot of you are graphic designers and most likely want to better their portfolios and if you do I think this is a very good source because it has the brief already out there for you, you know what you need to create, you have the name which is something that I really struggle with and yeah it just allows you to better your portfolio, it gives you examples, the creative direction, so yeah let's get started. So this brand is called Common Unity and they are aiming for a bold design that is surrounding around their values which is like Community. They also create boundary pushing music and they want to have amazing merchandise. So this is something to keep in mind and I put that on the side of my illustrator board just to keep me thinking about this brand identity and what the client wants. So I have chosen four fonts and I think these fonts can fit very nicely with this brief, some more than others. The first font is very bold, it's very curvy and I think it really fits with the community side of it due to its curves and how bold it is and I, th and I think it could really fit with boundary pushing music. I think it needs a little bit of a push, I think colour can really bring it out but I think just looking at it I think it really could fit with it. The second font, um, it's a bit too funky. At first when I was looking at it, I thought that this could be a bit of a fun brand. So that's why I chose this font, but it's definitely a bit too funky. You can see like the U and the T, it's quite curvy, it's not straight. It's just, I think it's a bit too much for this brand and the idea for this brand. And then we have the third font. Again, this font is too straight. I thought this could fit very well as usually when you see like these music industry brand identities that maybe have like focus on rock, they usually have quite straight fonts I feel. But this is definitely too straight, It's it doesn't fit with the boundary pushing music, it's I feel like it's too boring for this type of idea that they have for the brand and obviously they wanted something bold which this typeface does not really do. I think it's a good typeface but it's not good for this brand identity. And the next one, um, there's just something lacking in it. I'm definitely swaying towards the first one and you know it's definitely something in my style, the first one, and that's something that I do go with as I definitely feel more comfortable using it as well as I feel like it's something that I enjoy using personally and it really fits with the brief. So I decided to create a word type logo. So basically this, this is it, but I have to create a couple variations which um, I decide to use the C and the U as a logo mark and I decide to join them up. So I decide to join the C with the U in, I would say, an attractive way that looks natural. And the reason I change up the C and the U is so there's a bit of a difference between the actual logo typed out fully, so com common unity rather than the CU looking exactly the same. And I also created another variation of the C and the U together and placing it into that star that you can see in the corner. And next I'll be choosing some nice colour palettes. So I'm working with the Common Unity first and then when I find the right one I'll be putting it throughout the whole the two logo marks that I have there. And I had a couple ideas. I thought about going a bit darker with this one as I feel like you, using my usual bold colours like the pink and the reds that I've recently been using wouldn't work too much but I do want to keep it quite... That's my dog sneezing. <laughs> um, 
So I still want to keep it quite bold that does fit with my style. So yeah, I've been using the colour themes in Adobe Illustrator just to give me different variations of these colours. And I decided to go with this navy blue and this pink as well as I swapped that around on the other side as you can see and then in the middle I have this off-white with the purple and that's the colour palette that I go with. So next I'll be copying that throughout all of the logo variations that I have and I really like how it turned out. I'm very happy, I'm especially happy with the star and I feel like just I don't know if this is something that I just think but I feel like when you look at the star, specifically this one, I think of this kind of rock and pop brand. This could easily go into a music industry vibes. So I definitely think that it definitely does fit. So yeah, I'm adding all the colours throughout the logo marks. And in the last video, I showed you guys how to swap the colours around on a specific object. And that's what I'm doing here. I edit the colour for the um, colour rework, which allows me to quickly change the colours without doing the going through every single bit of it, if you know what I mean. And next, to bring the brand to life, I'm adding some photography. And this is a big one for me. I think adding photography into your brand identity to show off the logo. It, I think it just really brings the brand to life. And what I'm doing here is I like to uh, change the effect on it. So I would try them all out and see which one works best, basically. I think it's definitely a trial and error sort of thing. And then I'm doing some final touches, like making sure that the record shop underneath Common Unity is at the same level and yeah then that's done i really like how this turned out and next we will be jumping into figma to create a landing page one of the first things that i did was add the color palette from illustrator into figma so i can easily select the colors next i was thinking of adding a navigation bar which stands out from the actual content below it. But I decided not to is basically the navy blue really fits with both and I could create enough separation with fonts and spacing to have this separation between them. So one of the next things that I do is add some photography. The one that I created in Illustrator, it has one of the other logo variations and it's nice to see that it's a bit of a different logo variation than the one that we have been using for the top, which is the star. And then the next thing that I do is write some text, which is what Briefbox have said, which is a community of boundary pushing music fans. And next I'll be adding a, a curved line underneath music fans just to highlight that. One of the usual things to have in a homepage is a call to action button. Although I wasn't exactly sure what to say in the button, so I decided to not go with a button as I wasn't sure if whether to say something like, this is our artists, or browse, or subscribe. So I decided to just go without a button, but usually it's good to have a, a call to action on your actual homepage. And next, I create the navigations and what I do is have a bit of a different spacing it's quite wide as originally thinking that I, when I was having the button I wanted to create a bit of a difference as I'd be using the same font so yeah this is the landing page for desktop I do a couple tweaks with moving the actual main message a bit more central as we don't have a button and I transfer this into the mobile. So we're keeping things very similar. The only difference is obviously is that mobile is a bit smaller so we can't have the image on the right side. 
but we have to have it below. And what I did here is create a bit of a gap between the actual screen and the photo so they're not actually touching and there's a bit of a gap where you can actually see the blue which I think adds a little bit of interest. Generally speaking I'm keeping things very similar there's obviously I'm removing the navigation buttons as there's not enough space so this is my final product of this home page I think it turned out really nicely I think it really fits with the brand identity that I'm going for and yeah I'm very happy with it and here you can see the merch that I created and this is the logo variations that I have and yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video I really enjoyed making it if you have maybe any advice or any suggestions for next video please leave them below I read all of the comments and it's something that I can write down on my notepad for some future ideas and if you'd like to you can also follow me on my Instagram um, I'm trying to post there regularly I post what I've created as well as I post some reels on just business and marketing which could be quite helpful to you guys as well. I'm hoping to also start to create some more graphic design reels so it could be even more useful to you guys. So yeah you can follow me on there and I will see you next time. Bye!